right, boys and girls, we are going to use these items to create some lollipops today. So markers, you're going to want brown to create your lollipop stem and two colors to create the swirls in your lollipop and then a package of Model Magic and some scissors. So we're going to start by just cutting the top of the bag off and then I can separate and tear this open. When my Model Magic comes out, it looks kind of like a bar of soap and I don't want to mush it. I want to leave it as is and I am going to cut a little bit off of the back end. Okay, so I want the majority of it to be left alone and then just this little piece. This piece is going to be used to create the stem for my lollipop. And in order to make it brown, I'm going to have to color it. So I will come in here with my brown marker and I can fold this over and the more I color on top of the better the color will become once I'm happy with it or once I've layered it with enough color I'm going to start to swish it all around in my hands twisting it folding it whatever I need to do so that that brown gets worked into there. All right, and then what I'm doing here is I'm kind of rolling it into a coil. You can see it's got this like marble effect in it. If you don't mind that, you can leave it. If it bothers you, then you can keep working with it until you're content with the way your colors are mixed in. So again, rolling it between my hands to make a coil. And I'm going to roll this out on my table. And then I'm going to snip it in half. And this will give me two stems for making two lollipops. I'm gonna set those aside. This piece I'm gonna use to create my lollipop. So I want to cut it in half and I'm going to work on coloring it. So I want to flatten it out just like um, I did with the other brown clay, just working on flattening it out into a nice flat piece. And then I'm going to work with purple. Oops. And again, coloring it as I fold this over, I can add more color. And I want to continue to do this until I get it to the color that I like. Once I got it to a color that I like, you probably saw I added some more, it was a little light. So I got it to be a dark enough purple and a dark enough pink that I like. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my sticks. I'm going to start to roll it together and I'm going to start to roll out coils. Now, they're gonna get really long. So I'm going to just go ahead and snip this in half that one aside and work with this one. I want these to be kind of skinny. And pretty long. Work with my purple. Get it started, snip it in half. And as I'm rolling, I'm looking at how long is this one, and I'm trying to get my purple one to be the same length. So there we go, that looks pretty good. And I'm just rolling them up to each other, and I'm gently tapping them together. This is the great thing about Model Magic. They are now stuck together, super easy. Now with it on my table, I am going to, kind of pinching this to make it smaller, and I'm starting to roll it in on itself. And I wanna leave them flat on the table. And I'm going to continue to roll it 
so that they spiral with the pink and the purple. And then this is going to be the stick to hold my lollipop. So I want to kind of push this in place. And then I can take this last little bit to wrap around to hold my lollipop to the lollipop stick. I'm going to leave it to lay flat to dry and then I can work on my second one. If I want to be very precise, I can pull out a ruler and I can make sure that they're the same length. About the length of a ruler is going to be a perfect size for your lollipops. And then I'm doing the same thing, pinching my colors together, and then I can start to spiral them. If I wanted to reverse my color pattern, I could turn them the other way so my purple was on top. And then I would have one ending with pink and another one ending with purple spiraling them around, putting the stick in place, and then wrapping that last piece around it to hold it. And then as we leave these to dry, we'll have two lollipops completed next week.